Let's talk about tenths and hundredths. To understand decimals, you have to understand tenths and hundredths. Review. Equivalent fractions have the same value. For example, one-fourth is equivalent to two-eighths. We can prove this with multiplication or division. We can multiply the numerator and denominator in one-fourth both by two to get to two-eighths. Or we could go the other way. We could divide the numerator and denominator in two-eighths by two to get to one-fourth. Let's try using multiplication or division to create equivalent fractions. Here, we're changing two-thirds into sixths. The three was multiplied by two to get to six, so we have to do the same to the numerator. Two-thirds is equivalent to four-sixths. This time, the three was divided by three to get a one as the new numerator, so let's do the same to the denominator. Three-ninths is equivalent to one-third. In this example, the denominator 10 was multiplied by 10 to get to 100. So if we do the same to the numerator, we can see that 4 tenths is equivalent to 40 hundredths. This time, the denominator 100 was divided by 10 to get to tenths. Let's do the same to the numerator. 70 hundredths equals 7 tenths. What did you notice about the last two problems? They both used tenths and hundredths. Tenths and hundredths are easy equivalent fractions. Let's try turning some tenths into hundredths. One tenth equals ten hundredths. Two tenths equals twenty hundredths. Three tenths equals thirty hundredths. Four tenths equals forty hundredths. Are you noticing a pattern? Each time, I'm just adding a zero onto the end of the number. We can go the other way as well. Now let's try turning hundredths into tenths. Ten hundredths equals one tenth. Twenty hundredths equals two tenths. Thirty hundredths equals three tenths. This time, I'm just dividing by 10, or taking a zero away from each number to change hundredths into tenths. Let's use visual models to prove it. We want to prove that 2 tenths really is equivalent to 20 hundredths. Here's a picture of 2 tenths. I have a shape divided into 10 equal pieces, and two of them are shaded in. Here's 20 hundredths. This time, the same shape is divided into 100 equal pieces and 20 of them are shaded. Even though the hundredths has smaller pieces, we can see that the same amount of the whole is shaded for both. Let's look at 6 tenths and 60 hundredths. 6 tenths, 60 hundredths. Once again, the size of the pieces is different, but the same amount of the whole shape is shaded for both. They are equivalent. Now, let's talk about decimal notation. Remember that a digit's place in a number determines its value, and that this is called place value. We need to review place value to understand how to write a number in decimal notation. Let's look at this number. 125,947. Each of these digits is in a place in this number. The 7 is in the 1's place, the 4 is in the 10's place, the 9 is in the 100's place, then comes the comma, the 5 is in the 1000's place, the 2 is in the 10,000's place, and the 1 is in the 100,000's place. Decimals have their own places in the place value system. Decimals come to the right of the ones place. So here's the same number from before, 125,947. Remember the seven was in the ones place. Well notice, we've added a decimal to the right of the ones place 
And then after that comes the tenths place, then the hundredths place. We could add another digit after that, that would be called the thousandths place. But for now, we're just focusing on tenths and hundredths. Writing tenths and hundredths as decimals instead of fractions is called decimal notation. Decimal notation is easy because it's just like money. If you've ever dealt with money, you already have some experience with decimal notation. Let's try writing tenths and hundredths in decimal notation. Here I have a picture of a shape that's divided into 10 equal pieces with one of them shaded in. So this is showing one out of 10 or one tenth. If I want to write one tenth as a decimal instead of a fraction, I can put a zero in the ones place because I don't have any whole shapes shaded in. If I had some whole shapes, I would have a number there, but I don't. So I have a zero in the ones place, then comes the decimal, and I have one tenth. So I'm going to put a one in the tenths place. To write one tenth as a decimal, I would write zero decimal one. Let's look at this picture. This picture has eight out of 10 pieces shaded or eight tenths of the shape shaded. To write eight tenths as a decimal, I still have no one, so I'll put a zero in the ones place. Then comes the decimal and I have eight tenths, so I will put an eight in the tenths place. Let's take a look at some hundredths. This shape is divided into 100 equal pieces and 30 of them are shaded in. So as a fraction, I would write 30 hundredths. But if I wanted to write this as a decimal, I would put a zero in the ones place, a decimal, and then I would write the number 30 so that it extends into the hundredths place. Notice the three ends up in the tenths place. That's because 30 hundredths is equivalent to 3 tenths. But the zero lands in the hundredths place, and that's how I know to say 30 hundredths. It's the same way you would write 30 cents. That's what 30 cents is. It's 30 out of the 100 cents that make up a dollar. Let's look at another example of hundredths. This time I have 47 hundredths. To write 47 hundredths as a decimal, I have zero ones, then comes the decimal, 47. Notice 47 reaches into the hundredths place. It's the same way you would write 47 cents. Let's look at an example where we have something in the ones place. This time I have one whole shape shaded in, and five-tenths of another shape, or one and five-tenths. To write this mixed number as a decimal, I would put a one in the ones place because this time I do have one whole shape. Then comes the decimal, and then the five-tenths, I would just put a five in the tenths place. To write one and five-tenths as a decimal, I would write one decimal five. Here's one with some hundredths. This time I have two whole shapes filled in and then 24 out of 100 on the third shape. So that would be two and 24 hundredths. Or as a decimal, I would put a two in the ones place because I have two whole shapes, a decimal, and then the number 24 reaching into the hundredths place. It's the same way you would write $2.24. Reminders. Tenths and hundredths are easy equivalent fractions. Tenths and hundredths can be written as fractions or decimals. To use decimal notation, you add two more places to the right of the ones place, the tenths place and the hundredths place.